Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this John Saul's food. This is fully cooked southern style minis. They're golden breaded white meat chicken on Parker House style mini rolls. That's what they look like. Um, it's a really tall box, so I had to kind of set it up right like this. There are two packs of four minis um, in the box, and it is 10.5 ounces or 298 grams. These come in the frozen section um, of Walmart. We're kind of where you find all the other little frozen sandwiches and stuff. Um, like I said, there's eight minis. Um, I'll go through the calories and stuff in just a second. We got these at Walmart. They were $4.97, which isn't bad for basically two, two meals. Um, 340 calories for four. And like I said, there's two packs of four. And there's your other info. Let's see, the top, the back just shows you different things they have. I did buy a couple more of these, so just we'll try them all out. Okay, so it has air fryer directions the recommended methods are in the conventional oven those are the what they recommend you do of course we don't do ovens or air fryers on this channel we do microwaves so we're going to do the microwave and it does say heat from frozen so we're going to cut the corner of uh, packaging to vent heat the minis on high for one minute and 15 seconds to one and a half minutes i'll probably just do um i don't know i'll probably just do the one like 120 or so uh, remove from the microwave, let it sit for one minute before serving. Caution will be hot. Heating times may vary. Once thawed, they're fresh for five days after opening. So, I mean, I'm, you're not going to thaw them. You're going to stick them right back in the freezer until you eat the next set. So, I don't know why they would say that. Because it doesn't say thaw them before cooking them. It just says from frozen. So, why would you thaw them? Oh, okay. I'm a little tray. That's cool. Let's see what the other one looks like. Yeah, just a little tray of a little bones. Look like little Hawaiian, mini Hawaiian bones. Um, so you're not supposed to take it out of the plastic, you just vent it. So I'm gonna get a pair of scissors and cut this corner off, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, right, so here they are out of the microwave, and uh, there's the corner I cut. I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut them some more, because I'm sure they're steamy. Yeah, there's your little tray. That's what they look like. So they're just little chicken nuggets, basically. Ooh, the bread's hot. I may, um, I may actually open that bread up so it won't get soggy and let some of the steam go because, you know, bread tends to get soggy sometimes. So I'm going to let these cool off for a minute, take them over the table, be right back. So while these are cooling off, I'm going to read the oven directions. It's interesting because what you're going to do in the air fryer may be the same, but um, the oven, you, you preach over to 400 degrees, so it's going to be hot. Um, you bake the chicken separate, so you're just going to bake the four pieces of chicken complete by themselves on a baking sheet. Uh, for 10 minutes and then once they have two minutes remaining you add your little buns in on the baking sheet with them Just lay them on there and then let them finish for the last two minutes and then reassemble them So basically you're baking the chicken for eight minutes and then you're putting the buns in there and baking the, the all of it for two minutes So I just thought that was interesting now. I do have to say in the microwave some of the bottom uh, Buns got really really like tough and rubbery feeling um, But we'll, we'll see how they're like we'll, we'll see what they but actually are texture wise what they're like when you actually eat them. They end up being somewhat thick. I mean, they're not huge, but they're not bad. They're like little thick chicken nuggets. They're the inside. You can see it's a decent sized piece of chicken. I get a little bit of the flavor of the breading and then I, I get the taste of the bread. The bread is a little dry uh, where it's been in the microwave. So just know if, you, if you're in the microwave, you may have to adjust your time based on your microwave. So I did 120. I may drop it down to 115 for the other one. Uh, I'll probably eat that for dinner one night. Uh, but I'll probably do 115 for that one so they won't microwave quite as much. And uh, maybe it won't be quite as dense and, and firm in the bottom. It's not hard and dried out, so that's a good thing, but they are kind of dense and kind of chewy. Now, of course, in the microwave, they're not going to be crispy. Um, I do get a little seasoning from the breading on the chicken. Um, you do get the little, like a salt and pepper kind of, kind of spice. It's nothing spicy at all. Um, but you do get uh, some seasoning on it. Um, not bad.
I like the flavor of the of the buns themselves. They're like I, like I said, they're kind of like a Hawaiian sweet roll. They're kind of a sweeter bread. They're just not as tender as a Hawaiian bread. Um, the chicken has a good texture to it. It's, um, I wish it was crispy. Of course, it's not gonna get that way. Like I said, in the microwave, you're gonna have to do it in the oven or the air fryer to get it crispy. But if it was crispy and you had a softer bread, I think it would be really, really good. Um, I'm really disappointed in the amount of flavor the chicken has though. I really wish it had a little bit more flavor in the breading. Um, it's okay, it's not bad. I've had worse, trust me. Um, those processed chicken patties with the, with the really rough breading, I hate those things. Um, I don't like those at all, and these taste better than those. Um, and they have more flavor to it. That, the, like this bun though, right here, that is hard. I mean, I can't even, you can't even squish it. It's, it's hard as a brick. Now this side, is is tender but boy that side got i mean I, I literally cannot squash that it's dried out so much um so you're gonna get that if you do it in the microwave i wonder what this the chicken by itself tastes like not bad um, like i said it kind of reminds you of those processed chicken patties um and it may be processed it doesn't look like it's like layered chicken it looks like it's got that processed chicken um, texture yeah it's definitely been processed chicken or it seems like it has been um I, I like the chicken okay by itself and the bread by itself at least the soft pieces are nice that one a hard piece I don't think I'd want to eat that overall as a microwave meal I think it's just it's a three out of five it's okay there's nothing spectacular about it you will have to adjust your times for your microwave make sure the bread doesn't get so dried out and hard um like i said i'm gonna drop mine maybe five minutes maybe maybe even 10 minutes um not 10 minutes 10 seconds five or 10 seconds uh i don't know that five seconds will make much difference but 10 seconds should um but i'm really disappointed in the flavor even if you're doing them in the oven air fryer microwave it doesn't matter where you're doing it at the flavor of the chicken itself is probably not going to change much. The texture will because it'll be crisper, but it, the flavor is not really going to change. And I'm a little disappointed in the flavor of the chicken. I really wish it had more seasoning to it. Um, but beyond that, it's good. It's, it's a three out of five for me. It's it's just an average everyday meal. It's, it's nothing spectacular. It's nothing bad. It's going to get you through the day at lunchtime. You're going to eat it and enjoy it. Um, but to, don't expect... Uh, like a lots of seasonings in the chicken um, or anything like that. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.